G'day, let's play some more Hearts of Iron 4 with the Portugal Total Rework, re the Portugal Total Rework mod. God, there's a tongue twister. Uh, we are sort of getting ready to declare on the Axis. We're going to wait until the Germans push the Soviets back a bit further, or until the Soviets kill more German troops. Either way, it's good for us. Uh, he's got a lot more guys than us. Well, actually probably kind of equal. And we have 200 in this division, plus the others over there. Uh, speaking of which... These guys will be ready 2nd of October. That's good. And these guys, Nagarda, Divisao de Infantaria, will be ready soon enough. Okay. Plenty of toad artillery, but toad anti tank that we could potentially put into our main army as well. So if we were to edit this, well, actually, need support before we need anything else, particularly field hospitals. We need field hospitals. Got enough Bedfords. Got enough support. All right, put that on now. And we also need what? Recon or Sigs? That takes manpower, and infantry, equipment. So that's fine. Sigs take Bedfords. Still have enough. Don't have enough support equipment. That's where we're going to start getting bottlenecks. All right, let's do this now, and then we're going to need to get another support equipment line unless this is a short shortage well it's not too bad should probably kick out another line anyway but we are working on planes all right Nanshinron in Japan plays on the Netherlands Italy lays claim to Greece and we are working on the better planes now so it's gonna take a while Alright, modify the government. Well, we're researching planes, so let's go for the CAS, ground attack and reliability. Or fighter agility and match speed. Naval bombers will actually want to do. Strategic bombers or heavy fighters, tactical bombers. That's just reliability. Um, I mean, the CAS are what we want to do, but we want their naval attack rather than their ground attack. I guess, though, you always need fighters. Agility and max speed. Yep, so let's go with... Oh my god! Now, I should keep a closer eye on where the Germans actually are. They are pushing further into the Soviet Union. Alright, so almost in line with the edge of Lithuania. That's how we're going to remember this. When we come back at the end of the year, to break our non-aggression pact with Germany. All right, Imperial Japan from Hungary, from Mengjiang. Mengjiang. Okay, whatever. Actually, how are the Soviets doing against Japan? They are pushing into Korea. Okay. So, we always want China to be kept alive, really. Chinese United Front, because you know they can't join another faction. So it's a nice, quick war. Well, apart from having to actually get through them. Finland, we... You don't even exist. Why are you asking for... All right, Holland. Okay, guess he does exist still. And how are we looking out here? We have got the other 50 out. So we've got 100 military police dudes to fortify all of our ports. I assume they haven't missed any. That's one in there, one in there. Okay. <clears throat> Not the best way to do it. But I think he's given up on his uh, naval invasion altogether anyway. All right, we've got Antwerp and Brussels. Unfortunately, the Germans have Amsterdam. And Luxembourg's kind of weak anyway. 11 unlocked slots. All right, paramilitar paramilitarism. Now, ideological fanaticism gives it unity, attack, and defense on core territory, unless it's created a faction, and allows suicide strikes on the ships. <clears throat> Portugal wants to join the allies that we're at war with. No. Um, do we want to go fanaticism, or do we want to go PVDE, or do we want to go back through over here? We're going to go for oil, won't we? So, I guess we're going to keep doing all these until we get to our oily sort of stuff. Aggression with Slovakia is turned down. 
And yeah, we lost five divisions of the overseas defense. Would have been, we're still holding that. That would have been at least three down there. And then there's a few other, oh, we lost Sayuda. All right, well, no, there was one there. We got one guy there. We'll leave them where they are for now. If we lose them, we lose them, but it's not a huge issue, really. A couple of thousand manpower. And they have done a naval invasion that has been repulsed. So we know there are Germans around in the cities and ports. Denmark hopefully won't be able to get across the river. <clears throat> but it is going to be time to stab Germany in the back. Gets a non-aggression pact on the 30th of December. All right, what else are we making here? If we could get a number for how many are training. It is support equipment that's the problem. Two months out, it's fine. All right, looks like the Soviets pushing back in. Denmark, well, there's a naval invasion along there. And free military factories, okay. Doing fighters, doing CAS. We also want to do Naval bombers, we have no experience with. Okay. Uh, heavy tanks, no. Support equipment, maybe. Motorized, probably. We wanted the uh, rocket artillery, though. I'm going to give them a go in this campaign. Right, and then we need to build more military factories, clearly. Start building up fronts. Um... Want to leave that kind of free to do other things. So let's just go down this way and in there. Anti air. It's got a maximum of five. All right. So I guess that doesn't matter too much. Let's build our military factories. Ah, do them everywhere. There, 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 and there. Okay, we should still have a few up our sleeve. Ah, uh, well, we don't want to do them next. We've still got another 20-40% um, maximum factories that we can add. So that's good. Denmark, Norway, Ireland, and the Commonwealth, Mirage. We've taken tons of losses against the Axis though, so that's good. I know how Australia has lost so many guys. <coughs> Which is mechanization, old Johnny Curtin. Alright. <coughs> Germany's handed over a bit of land to Italy down there. Hmm. And Italy's handed over something to Germany by the looks. Because that should not be contiguous with that. Hmm. Still got that little blob in the way there, so we can't make a proper front line. And they still want to invite us to faction. That's a no. And it is January now, so let's go cancel non-aggression pact. Or we can jump straight in, apparently. Alright, we want to take as much as we can, but let's just go for Brandenburg. Ooh, 10 days. It's going to be crazy fast. Okay, let's go for that. Um, That means these guys won't be ready in time. Uh, support equipment. Ooh, I do see the naval invasion there. 27 days. Yeah, it's not going to be ready on time. Just trying to land 13 troops. Let's go down speed 4. Just trying to land guys in Calais as well. Lille is not as important right now. Keep protecting the rest of these though. Right, there are Germans on the border in Rotterdam. And that doesn't matter as much as Le Havre, not as Rouen, or Paris for that matter. So have to watch them not assaulting... Oh crap, there's a lot of guys there. Um, have to watch them not assaulting directly on a port. If they come somewhere like this, they can do a lot of damage. No aggression from Siam, no. Why are you walking away? Back in there and defend. 
for the motherland. Alright, Dewatin. Probably for the next. Uh, I would like to get the swordfish, but this is no longer ahead of time, so we're definitely going to do them. Alright, push them back. Push the others back. Northern France. Is this province, which would be the one in Calais. Alright, nearly ready to go against Germany. So, come back onto this. Everybody needs to push ASAP, and we need to check on these guys. Okay, something like that. I think that gets everybody now. You can have a problem with this little bit in here. Don't know what we'll do. Well, they don't have many guys there, so should be able to fold this in pretty quickly and then not have to worry about the gap in the line. All right, Hong Kong has gone to Japan. Yep. Should be okay there. Alright, we're good to declare war on Germany. So, he has pushed out even further. Which means he is stronger than the Soviets, but Soviets do have a lot more men. So as long as we can move towards Poland faster than they can come back, should be looking good. So, let's go and declare war on Germany. Call in our non-existent allies. Yes, yes. Alright, call everyone else in. Okay. Now, let's assume everyone knows they're supposed to move immediately. Not particularly, apparently. Um, let's make sure we get a few into Munich. Get this guy directly into Stuttgart. They will take Luxembourg, then go Bitburg, Frankfurt. These guys go up, then over to Dortmund. Grab one of these guys to go to Cologne. This guy can just go down to Bitburg as well. I'm going to cut these guys off by getting up to Amsterdam and The Hague. <clears throat> Alright, should be a decent start. Let's go speed 3 for a little bit. I'm sure I'm forgetting something important. These guys. Hmm. Well, they are moving in. This guy can defend over there. One day and eight. <coughs> yep, so we get that faster than him. Let's pull these guys across here as well. Pull these guys down, just for the defense. Uh, it should be okay. Alright, the German. Losing a lot. It's going to be counting, uh, counting their losses over on that front as well, though. And this front. And he's got some guys behind. South Africa controls Schleswig-Holstein. And naval invasions from the Allies. Come on, buddy. We're at war with your enemy. There's no other wars going on, is there? Japanese, Chinese, German, Polish, Portuguese, French, Soviet, Finnish, Portuguese, German. Okay, bit of a mess. Basically, it's telling us that the Allies are not at war with the common turn, but everything else is ongoing. Alright, that naval cro uh, river crossing should be successful without any help. But, let's get these guys around to Marseille, Toulon, and Nice, if at all possible. These guys come across, they'll head up into Grenoble, go over to Annecy. And we now have resistance in the Netherlands. Switzerland, Luxembourg, the German. Lots of cavalry up there. And you know what? Probably need more cavalry pretty soon. So let's go train one. Two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty. 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And make another 100. We'll do that in Garda. And they will join the military police. All right to Portuguese theatre. Uh, these guys are being made infinitely. Let's finish on the one they're doing now then. And 
mostly green. Hey, Junkers, Canon and Burgle. Alright, uh, we still need to do production efficiency. And a couple of months till the next choice. Alright, so these Italians need to be sorted out. Need to do it this way so there's no river crossing. These guys have to take a river crossing no matter what. And the Germans have strategically redeployed. But they've pulled so many guys off that line that the Soviets are going to come in and crush them now. Alright, there's a German up there. We want to get across. It's a river crossing, however, we try and do this. Hmm. Chromium Mines of Grandola. We do the Ultramar. And then we have to control Angola. Well, yeah, they'd take it off us. We could build coastal forts. Add to what in a province? Don't know. Uh, air innovations. I guess we'll go start doing the uh, air force stuff. There's some free military factories. So what do we need? We need support equipment. Okay. Because we changed the actual basis of that whole thing. So support equipment. Let's put this up the top, and then knock it down with the other support equipment. Alright, resource wise, we're in surplus everything except for oil. You know what? Who can we get oil from? The US. Let's make the US like us. Go for it. Surplus of five. Alright, I'm not going to be able to do that fast enough like this. Um, try and get. Just as he started strategically redeploying. Uh, well, I'm going to get across the river there and we can come around behind him. Why has nobody done that? Alright, how are we looking closer to Italy? So we're trying to do a bit of a river crossing. But mountaineers are coming in. That's a failure. Just stop it. Alright, looks like we've pushed good in the centre. Almost made it to Munich. This mountaineer can get rid of them. Or not. Hmm. It's fine. Got a lot of guys. Plenty of good supply through Central Europe, so I'm not going to have to worry about that issue at all. Support equipment's two months out. Allies are still trying to do naval landings on us. <laughs> Had some colonials there trying to do it. So we'll just have to do a quick check around the place occasionally. Make sure we haven't missed any um, naval invasions. Get him involved. And get him involved. And get that up a bit higher, I'll be happy. <clears throat> Try and get these guys coming through. Good, he's going around the back. Uh, Essen. Can we sneak across? Sneaking straight through there would be even better. <clears throat> Attack him before he gets through. Damn it. Well, he's gone straight past anyway. Oh, big old mess of forts there. The French and the Germans. Didn't think of the Portuguese coming through that little part of the world. We've taken Nice. Hmm. It's going to be a little harder. From Grenoble. Alright, let's grab these two. They will come around to Grenoble. And then try and cut him off there. <clears throat> and we're starting to weaken. Because we don't have the support equipment to come in. How are we with... Bedford's we're fine. Where's the... Toad Rocket Artillery. 115 isn't really enough to do anything with. Yeah, didn't finish putting them in. Four per day. Take a long time. Right, holding back the naval invasions perfectly well. We have made it through. Okay. So, once you're up there, tell me you're going to Amsterdam. 
before his organization comes back up. And then we push straight through to the Hague, get a encirclement bonus on Rotterdam, if it doesn't fall before then, which looks like it probably will. Uh, this guy can continue up. Now, Denmark is failing. Soviets are still pushing towards Warsaw. Allies have been encircled up there. As long as they pull off German troops, we'll be fine. We have taken Rotterdam. We'll take The Hague and Amsterdam. It's not too hard. These guys, keep them busy, actually. Since you're on this side already. Get straight into Essen. Alright, Cologne shouldn't be too difficult. These guys, yeah, there's a lot of reinforcements that have to be done first. The support equipment situation, it's still a couple of months. Alright, he's going to be cut off there. Um, fine, should be able to sort that out. Now, what else can we grab? Almost rating, ace generation chance, we'll take that. Resistance in Holland, we were already dealing with. <coughs> Let's get a bunch of these guys. That's not what I was trying to do. Take that, then they go up, and then they spread out. This guy's coming across the river, and then help out there. Alright, these guys should be getting into Cologne. They can jump straight across. Let's try and get these guys up to Dortmund. He's got to be weakened. If he chooses to hold off, hold us off, then the Soviets will come in. Danes, South Africa still holds Schleswig-Holstein. Kiel in particular. Right, insufficient oil. Doesn't bother us. Just going to be convoys that aren't being produced. Right, I'm going to take the Hague. And then, yes, we are going to need a bit more military police on the way, don't we? Cav are coming. We have to kick them out now because I need to make sure that these guys prevent naval invasions. Not be aggressive, not that I think it makes a difference in this situation. Um, we need to hold everything else, but we particularly need to take the coastline. Alright. Yes, yes, yes. And Berlin, obviously, areas around it, Prague, and Frankfurt. Yeah, let's just select all of Germany, really. And the Italian regions. What's Yugoslavia's deal at the moment? I don't think he's joined the Allies. Italy didn't have a chance to go to war with him. Oh god, we're just going to destroy Japan, aren't we? Right. Set this up. But then, if we get over that far, we'll have to do a few other things. Right, Hungary and Slovakia are in. Alright. And Romania is actually in the Axis as well. So, if we ever get over that far, we'll be rather happy get over that far, might go to war with the common turn, but that'll do for their orders for now, and might as well just have guys back here. More backup if we need it for um, holding the area, since our core lands are so small, we have to make sure we have people close by. Alright, and the Hague should fall. Where exactly is he attacking? Alright. Up speed four. And we're now losing across the line. Well, that's not cool. I guess we just need a lot more mountaineers. We went for these guys because they're the ones we had edited. So if we were to have a look at our mountaineers, we could potentially. Well, these are all going to need support equipment, so we can't do it. Recon, feel, yeah, they all need support. 
Alright, well, we are going to need a lot more support equipment then, aren't we? So, whatever factories we hopefully manage to take from Germany, they will immediately go creating support equipment for our continued invasion of his lands. Somebody here should be getting into the Hague. Okay, so that's not looking good here, but all the other stuff's going well against Germany. We're just going to have to constantly deal with these threats from the UK. For some reason, the United States haven't joined the Allies yet, so that's going for us. Hopefully Japan isn't stupid enough to declare war on the US. All right. Mostly green, some red. We'll probably have to do some micro one to sort out, but it's looking good. So I'm going to take a short break here. Thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments and hope to see you again soon. See you later.